three in favor of the winner. And now the four-time heavyweight champion of the world, Evander. Johnny, do you feel as though you were robbed? Yeah, 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 most definitely. I mean, I, I basically controlled the fight. I was the one aggressive in there. And, um, you know, he was basically throwing everything, including elbows, heads, anything he he had, he threw it out there. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't throw a knee at me either. How surprised were you when you heard four-time heavyweight champion? I don't know what that was saying, so it could have been the fight before or the fight after we're thinking about, but I know they were watching off the me and Holyfield fight. And I mean, I won the fight and he knows it. Well, you know, there's no doubt that you know, I won the fight. The guy was awkward. You know, he's kept his hands in very close, so I couldn't get him with a good right hand, couldn't get him with an uppercut. He, he played, a, he fought a very defensive fight, which, you know, keep you from getting knocked out. But in, in one way or enough, I, I heard him and all that. So, you know, I, you know, I'm happy about the victory. Will you give Johnny Ruiz a rematch? Well, I, I, yes, I will. Yes, I will. There ain't no problem. This time around, I'm definitely going to do what I trained to do the first time around. Do a lot of movement, a lot of jabs, a lot of combinations, and just, just basically just stay, stay in the outside. If I would have fought the fight we trained to fight, you know, I definitely would have knocked him out. Well, I would go in this fight, and I, I fought him before, and I know he may be aggressive. I know I have to pressure him. You know, I know that I have to just tighten the pressure up on the young guy, and you know, and, and be willing to fight that way. 12 rounds if I have to. This time around, it's definitely going to be a, a knockout. You know, I definitely feel like I guys should knock him out and, and go and go in and do it. So when it comes down with two people fighting, it's going to come down to knowledge. I have more knowledge. Come down to skill and plans. I'm a strategist and I do it well. And you know, and, and I will knock him out. Puerto Rican parents who may have the fastest ring entrances in boxing, and here he comes, trotting in his trainer Norm Stone in front of the manager there, the hat Gabe LaMarca. He said they lost Ruiz in the first fight in the third round when he wanted to show he could slug with uh, Holyfield. On the subject of Holyfield's uh, perforated eardrum is an excuse. Stone said Ruiz broke his eardrum during the fight and his nose was busted in round 12, but you don't hear him complaining. And while Holyfield's broken eardrum sounds like an excuse to cover up a bigger problem, difficult to doubt a man whose boxing career is predicated on guts and courage. But here he comes, led by the man they call Stoney, Norm Stone, his trainer, John Ruiz. He's got about 3,000 people from Chelsea, Massachusetts. He comes busted out of the tunnel like a football team. The crowd gets a good view of him. He pumps his chest and he's ready for action. Just before the first fight, Bobby, you talked about the importance of the first two rounds, setting the tone. Your thoughts on that now? I'll tell you what, Steve, I think the importance of the first two rounds in this fight are equally important, if not more important. Fluke or fact is what we're going to find out. If Holyfield jumps on Ruiz, gets in his face and fights hard, and John can handle him, maybe he has the keys to unlock Holyfield. If he doesn't react well, his confidence is going to go south. If Holyfield jumps right on Ruiz, which a lot of people think is going to be the case, and looks for an early finish, what's Ruiz's best tact? Well, his best tact is get his pound of flesh and make sure he knows, and Holyfield is, that is, he knows he's got somebody in front of him who's going to fight him back and not fold and not cave to the pressure. Other than that, he can get steamrolled. There he is, the easy-going, quiet man, John Ruiz. Looks like he's doing a little last-minute praying to the man upstairs. His fans are here in full force to support him from suburban Boston. But he holds the island of Puerto Rico very near and dear to his heart. That's where his parents are from. He's getting last bit of instruction from Norm Stone. Norm was very vocal in that last fight. 
with the Vander Holyfield. And here he is, no denying his accomplishments, brave history defined by the heroic first fight with Mike Tyson. But there's also no denying how flat he looked in the first fight. Was it the ear problem? Was it erosion? Did he just underestimate Ruiz? His trainer, uh, Don Turner, told us Holyfield fights on instinct. As soon as he starts thinking, he's in trouble. And that's what happened, according to Don, in August. He also said he'd be shocked if tonight goes past six rounds, that this is the best he's seen Holyfield since the first Tyson fight. Turner said Holyfield is very sensitive to criticism, but it was probably the best thing for him. Bobby, in retrospect, were we unnecessarily rough on Holyfield in the first fight? You know what, Steve? Evander Holyfield himself has set the standard for how we judge him. The ultimate overachiever, I've always said it. And I think that only Evander Holyfield knows what was bothering him. Has he come of age? Was it the eardrum? And I feel vindicated that there was a physical impairment. Uh, did he underestimate his man, or did he just have an off night? Only he knows, and I don't think he's going to tell us. There is Don Turner off his left shoulder. Of course, in Holyfield's mind, it's not, but is this a no-win situation in terms of his health and well-being? I mean, even if he loses, Bobby, there could be a third fight with Ruiz. He's defiant about continuing in a sport that can produce severe repercussions later you know in life. I really don't know what he's going to do if he loses. I would like to see him retire. If he wins, though, I know he's going to continue. He's on a mission. His quest is ahead of him. usual to spiritual music which he sings to versus John Ruiz, the rematch. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, before we present our feature bout of the evening at this time, I'd like to ask you to rise for a very good evening to you and we welcome you to the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada for the feature bout of the evening brought to you by Don King Productions in association with Showtime Event Television, the Mandalay Bay, the undisputed king of beers, Budweiser, and I1.com, $10,000 awarded daily. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President, Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor, Dr. Elias Cordova, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the Chairman is Dr. Elias Ghanem, Commissioners Amy Ayub, Glenn Carano, Dr. Flip Pomansky, and Dr. Luther Mack, the Executive Director is Mark Ratner. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. 
from Johannesburg, South Africa, Stanley Christodoulou. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Chuck Jumpa. Also from Las Vegas, Patricia Jarman Manning. And the third man of the ring, our referee in charge, working in this his 139th world title bout, Joe Cortez. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening, the last word. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Mendeley Bay in Las Vegas, it's showtime! Chelsea, Massachusetts, by way of Sabana Grande, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 227 pounds with a record of 36 wins, four losses. He has 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he attempts to become the first Latino to win the heavyweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBA number three ranked contender, the challenger, known as the quiet man, introducing John Ruiz. Ladies and gentlemen, the defending world champion presenting on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with multi-color trim, fighting out of and representing his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. He weighed in at a ready 217 pounds with a record of 37 wins, four losses, one draw. He has 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is one of boxing's true warriors, the only man in history to hold the heavyweight title four times. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBA heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Evander, the real deal. Charge. All right, gentlemen, we run over the rules of the dressing room. This fight for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. I expect good sportsmanlike conduct. Remember, these punches here are low. Up here, they're good. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. All right, let's clean the ring. Ruiz wouldn't look at Holyfield. Different referee and judges from the first fight. You recall at the start of the original fight, Holyfield seemed surprised when Ruiz came out so fast. He spent the opening seconds fending Ruiz off. Interesting to see if Holyfield tries to get the jump on Ruiz here in the rematch. We're still not fully convinced of Ruiz's chin. He looks like he's ready to sprint out. If Holyfield is busier, lands cleanly, especially with the big right, it could be a short night. Here we go. Feel Ruiz too. Oh, stop! I got a hold. Right away. Some roughhouse tactics. I think Evander Holyfield is going to try and unload at least one or two good shots early to let John Ruiz know this is an all new and improved, brand new, real deal. There's a stiff left jab by Evander Holyfield as he stuffed it effectively. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that is not a knockdown. He was pulled down by. Holyfield, we seem to be picking up where we left off with all the pushing and grabbing and pulling. You're going to notice John Ruiz is going to try and he's working his way in. He's not smothering his punches quite the same way he did last time, but he's still looking to get inside Holyfield's power range. Come on, guys, come on, let's go, guys. No rough tactics, guys. Ruiz thought he, he drifted from his game plan of the first fight. He doesn't want to slug oh, with Holyfield. He wants stop, to stay on stop. the outside. Hey, guys. Come here. Come Jab here. Come here. Now, a quick early you conference. You got to take control now, okay? No rough tactics. Cortez Let's go. wants to take charge. Ruiz just missed.
Ruizing with that right hand. You notice John Ruiz worked his way all the way in and then held. Evander did tie him up. He tied up Evander. He's still worried about the shots coming back. Holyfield working the jab. Right hand by Ruiz. Ruiz looking very confident. All right, let him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Let him out. Something Evander said he wasn't going to do this time is wait. And he's still waiting quite a bit. Yeah, he's not getting off first. Pretty good right hand of the jaw bring out, bring out, by bring Ruiz. Out. Evander countered with a nice right hand, too. Right now, John's got the lead. A little more active. Not working Evander right now, but this is very, very early. Holyfield back, which is a good thing to do. That was one of your keys to victory. John Ruiz does not fight well going backwards and against a sharpshooter like Evander. That would be right, break. death. Break out, clean. Break out. Okay. Joe Cortez has been a busy man here in the opening round. Under 30 seconds. This fight is going to be a lot of clinching, a lot of holding on inside. Trust me, Steve. On the inside. Ruiz is going to tie Holyfield up every chance he gets. And some holding and hitting by both the fighters. Here's a good left jab by Ruiz as he stuffed it in. All right, hold, hold, stop, 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 behind the head. And Ruiz being cautioned by Cortez for the rabbit punch. And that's going to do it for round one. Very even. I gave the first round to Ruiz. He did the work. He pressed it. When he starts rushing, you got to bump him. Okay. Feigning, make him rush, step to the side and punch combination. Okay. So all you have to do is put three, four punches at a time and win the ball. Get back quick. And forever bright, right? Get back quick. A little water. Yeah. Good job, man. Keep your hands up. Johnny. Keep banging the jab. Keep going. Trying to counter you over the top with that time. jab. I mean, the right Keep hand. Going. You got to change up. Mm -hmm. Down low, up high. You're falling in again. It's not a fall. You're right. Don't fall in. Use your jab. Jab and move. Keep, Come on, Keep punching. Go, go, go. Keep punching, Johnny. Holyfield was disgusted with himself after the first bite because he... He wanted to end it on one punch. He didn't throw enough uh, combinations. Hey, let's see what he does here. Don Turner just reminded him, look, set him up. Two, three at a time. Two, three, four. Let him flow. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Lot of movement by both. <laughs> Each looking for the little opening. Continues to stick the jab. But we haven't seen him uh, follow it up yet. A little abrasion underneath the left eye of Ruiz already. Body shot with the left by Holyfield. Holyfield start a counter now, starting to react. Throwing two or three backs to the one. John still pressing, got a lot of energy. Vander, very, very experienced in the big Ruiz weighs 10 pounds more. Ruiz already. Underneath the left eye, it's beginning to blow up. You notice that? Nice double left hook by Holyfield, right, body hit, and a right hand to the temple. Right, bring up, bring up, bring up. Bring up. Bring up. That left eye could be a developing problem for Ruiz. It's a nice right hand, I believe. I saw one, and that eye is swelling quick. Could have been a clash of heads, but I didn't see it. it may have been the result of a punch. Right, bring up, bring up. Let him out. Let him out. Halfway through round two. A lot of head movement by Ruiz. All right, break up, break up, break up. John Ruiz's corner said you're falling in. He leans forward like that, he falls in. That's dangerous for both fighters in the hit category. He's pushing Holyfield back, swarming. Straight right hand on the head by Ruiz. And then Holyfield just drags him into the ropes. Another right hand that was blocked by Holyfield. He's trying to 
smother Holyfield's punches. Get off and smother. Get off and smother. I don't know how long Holyfield will let this happen, but that's how I thought he got out hustled and now worked in the first fight. First fight. Ken Holyfield seems to be waiting too long, which was the case in the first fight. Under 30 seconds, round two. It's a better round for Holyfield, though. He's landing some good counter combinations. John's still taking the fight to him. Effective jab by Ruiz, and then he lands with a right. It's been Ruiz who's been getting off first, and then a lot of tugging by Holyfield. As he's holding on to Ruiz, pulling him along. That left eye looks really bad for Ruiz. Good left right combination of the head, by the way, left hook by Ruiz at the bell. Do what you gotta do, he got a bad eye. Give him some. Johnny, box him, baby. Box him, Johnny. Man. Let me get this. This is the most important thing right now. Ruiz out working if you're getting the better of him until that uppercut comes in and really lands right on that eye. There's a nice uppercut also by Ruiz. All right, seconds up. Seconds up. Super slow-mo. Again, John Ruiz just trying to outwork Holyfield. That uppercut started to change things. But Evander gets hit in one of those uppercuts as well. I think Ruiz, as in the first fight, is out working Holyfield. Get it on, get it on, get it on. We enter round three. Holyfield digging to the body with the left hand. Oh, break out, break out clean, break out clean. In the end fighting. As Ruiz tries to smother Holyfield's punch. Right, don't be holding, don't be holding, don't be holding. On the inside, Holyfield's getting free. And Ruiz is allowing him some leverage. Evander's not got the timing yet. John Ruiz is ducking in, cutting the distance in half so that Ruiz is inside the power zone where Holyfield's punches are going to lose some of his starch. See, as that right hand starts hitting, it's already off to the side by his shoulder. He's inside the power zone. Norm Stone worked feverishly let on let that let 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 welt let let underneath let the left eye of Ruiz with the end swell. Let's go to Jim Bray for a report on Ruiz's eye. All right, Steve, uh, Dr. Berliner, one of the attending ring physicians here, looked at Ruiz's eye in between rounds. He says it's swelling pretty quickly. It's about ready to close. There's not a whole lot of vision, even at this point, even though it appears to still be open. He's concerned as the fight goes on that it will be a major concern for John Ruiz, and he will monitor it every round. Steve? Thank you, Jim. It would be a, a shame if the fight uh, came to a uh, conclusion because of the eye. Uh, I'll tell you, Ruiz complained about something near Joe Cortez. If it was a low blow, I didn't see it. And then Joe Cortez, combination after that happened, said to Vander keep him up a little bit. Vander needs to work him behind the jab. He's not using the jab enough. There it is. There it is. On cue. Ruiz with a body shot right on the belt with the left hand. But he did follow up. Holyfield doubling up on the jab. Ruiz going to the body. Bring out, bring out, bring out. But Ruiz not doing what he said he wanted to do more of. And that is move around the ring, fight from the outside, don't slug it out with Holyfield, jab more, and throw more combinations. Now, John Ruiz fight, cannot fight backwards. He has to stop and come forward. He doesn't fight going backwards. Vander is a better fighter going backwards than Ruiz. Ruiz tying Holyfield up here. And then winging with a left hook but a grazing blow. Holyfield's getting mad now, and so is Ruiz. Yeah, Ruiz is not getting the better of these inside fighting confrontations, Steve. The crowd on its feet. Water. Give me the inch well. Come on, Cabin. 
fucking point. Yo, he jumped in so. You fucking asshole. That's your head. That's your head. Make it easy. Make it easy. You call me nothing like that. Gig. Please, Ronnie. Come on, Johnny. You couldn't have listen, fucking Johnny. done it, Gabe, right? Listen, no, you gotta Johnny, fuck. listen, Johnny. Johnny, he's a back to the game, friend. Get back to your box. He's walking right into your jab, but you're throwing slow punches. You gotta throw fast Use punches, your Johnny. jab. Quick punches, bing, bing, combination. You gotta show fast punches, Johnny. You understand? Now, come on, you want to see fighting this guy's fight. an easy fight, Johnny. Use your fast jab. Fast punches, fast punches. All right? Get back with the jab. Nice quick jab. Johnny, right hand. Oh, oh, let's talk. Come he's on. laying the fucking left hand out. And Make him go outside of you. That's right. Okay. That's right. Let's Speed go, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Your hands are falling your feet. You don't have to work all night if you don't want to. Cut it. The tension coming to a boil in that Ruiz corner as Norm Stone was looking for the end swell. And he got into it there with uh, Gabe LaMarca. Round four. Tide's turning a little earlier in this fight than it did in the last. Fuck it on. Oh, 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 hey, hey, it was the hey, last hey, round hey, hey, of the first oh, fight. Come here, come here, Ford come here, tactics come there as they You guys have a problem? You have a problem? All right, give me a clean fight, all right? No rough tactics. Let's go. More warnings from uh, Joe Cortez. Remember that uh, Ruiz was wobbled toward the end of the third round of the first fight, but Holyfield couldn't finish him off. He just didn't have the energy. You know, John Ruiz keeps pulling in, right? As, as he fires in, he pulls inside. In the inside there, where there's Holyfield's hands, oh, bring up, bring you know, the gloves, the fists, the, the elbows, the, the shoulders, the head. A lot of things are going to damage that eye. He doesn't need to be in that tight. And I'm a little perplexed by it as well. And I'm sure uh, Ruiz's corner is not too thrilled either. Please, grimacing as Holyfield went low. Holyfield looks like he's lo loading up a little too much, looking for one big shot. I mean, the double jab and right hand is nice, but he looks like he's waiting on something, and I can't understand what. Oh, there's a big right hand to the head by Ruiz. And Ruiz with a left right combination to the head. I think I heard you say that a few times in the last fight. Not sure what he's waiting for. Watch your hands inside, guys. Watch them hands. Watch them hands. He's definitely guys. been more active in this fight. This fight's not a hand. Nice uppercut. Left right uppercut hand. to the chin by Ruiz, but it was one and done. That left hook by Holyfield was blocked by Ruiz. Ruiz with a left hook to the head. And those shots were blocked by the arms of Ruiz. By Holyfield. Holyfield's rhythm seems to be a little off. He's missing some of the punches on the way in offensively, and he's missing blocking some defensively. And Ruiz is connecting with the right hand. With a little more regularity. All right, bring Seconds of round four. <laughs> they may have banged heads, and there's blood on the forehead of Ruiz. Norm Stone questioning Joe Cortez about the head oh, Come on, Stone, get the work here. What is it? Joe Cortez informing a Norm Stone it was accidental. Oh, shit! Oh, he's coming in. Come on, Joe! Don't get his eyes. Come on, Joe! Come on, Joe! Come on, Joe! Come on! Come on! Come on! For Christ's sake, we got robbed last time! Give me the Vaseline! Give me the Vaseline! Norm Stone thinking it's deja vu. Fucking motherfuckers! We're gonna take a look at that accidental headbutt. Seconds out! There it is. That's clearly accidental. There's no way you can see if Andrew did it on purpose. He's, just du he's ducking to try and fire an uppercut counter, and they just bang heads. I think it was accidental, too. I think Cortez was right. That's a, that's a very good call. So, down round five. 
things are getting a little dicey now for John Ruiz, who has the swelling under the left eye and the uh, headbutt to deal with, with blood on the forehead. And that blood could be coming into the eye area, into the eyes, obscuring his vision. You know, bad spot, Bob. Oh, if you keeping Ruiz on, on retreat, John can't fight going backwards. He's getting through with that left hand on the inside, working the body and the jaw. Ruiz backing up, which is not what he wants to be doing. Ruiz's face getting bloodier and bloodier as the round goes on. And that blood has nothing to do with the butt. That has to do with that uppercut on the inside and Evander through. He was working well on the inside with it. The blood streaking down Ruiz's nose. Press row scoring. Gerard Fernandez has it even. And Rafael and Steve Springer have Ruiz ahead at this juncture. I have it even myself. But Ruiz certainly looking the worst for wear. But he may he may be ahead. This round is Holyfield's clean though. Look at all the blood. And Holyfield's where oh! Big left hook by Van, the best punch of the night. Well, that got the attention of Ruiz, who looks shaky. <laughs> Ruiz sticking the jab, and then again, smothering Holyfield. Holy's too strong for John this time. reversed. Ruiz's face is a mess. But he just keeps coming forward. He is game. He's digging these twisting uppercuts to the body and jaw of Holyfield. But again, not really to his advantage to be fighting on the inside this close to the Vander Holyfield. This round was pretty much advantage. John made it closer, but I don't know if he could win the round. Oh, he dominated the first two minutes so much. John is really looking the worst for wear now with that eye and that blood. It's everywhere. He looks like the beaten fighter, but you don't know that on the scorecards. Put the eyes on his back. I'm gonna do it. Put the eye inch well for his eye. Hey, go! Right the head go on! Right here. Right for Christ's sake! Give us a break Nama. here! Nama. It's not a Give us a break it's here! Right. Hey. Cortez ignoring stuff. Come on, Johnny. Come on, baby. You're still in this fight, kid. You're still in this fight. Come on. Come on, Johnny. You dig Stay deep. in it. Stay with it. I'll fight with that eye. Don't worry about it. Come on. Vander Holyfield gets better of John Ruiz, big body shot, and then the hook up top. John Ruiz didn't ro really wobble that bad. Another look from over there, didn't really wobble that bad. I think the body shot right there bothered him more than the head shot. And there's the good hook. Yeah, that was a little bit more of a glancing blow than it looked like. Get working. They favorously work on the face of John Ruiz, who still, still comes out all bloodied. Round six. Stone continuing to berate Joe Cortez. You know, I'm, I'm going to say this to him. It's just one of those things. John Ruiz jumps down, ducks down, comes down. Sometimes when you come down and the other fighter comes down, you're going to bang heads. That's just part of the way the game's played. See, the physical nature of this fight on the inside is John Ruiz is getting the worst of it right now. But Holy's not out punching him that significantly. And the fans again rallying behind uh, what many think is the sentimental favorite, Evander Holyfield. Some feel the man of sympathy is Ruiz after thinking he was robbed in the, the first fight. Ruiz looking for a little second win here, I believe. 
Vander slowing up again. I'm not quite sure. He's hesitating. I don't know if he's got. His, he's out of rhythm. He's out of sync. Well, he's pressing. He's backing Ruiz up. But he's not throwing. Now he throws finally one jab, but that's it. Overhand right blocked by the left arm of Ruiz. Dicks to the body with the left. See, John can't fight going backwards. He, there's no way he can win this fight going backwards. He's got to come forward. But Evander is too strong for him this time out. All right, break out, break out, break out, Tony, break out. Those punches again being blocked by the arms and gloves of Ruiz. They sound good. Get him out. But not effective. Body shot, then an uppercut. Good double left by Ruiz. Holyfield countered back with left hook, but it was just one. He needs to pull more punches. That was one of the keys to just throw, use his overall skills. And a nifty right uppercut to the chin by Ruiz on the inside. So there's only been one really good combination by John Ruiz in this round. He's taken a lot of the round off. There's only 40 seconds left in the round. He spent three quarters of the round backing up. Holyfield missing. the six. Big finish by Ruiz. But a right uppercut. Oh, oh, Ruiz staggered back. Come on, referee. Just at the bell. Come on, referee. Oh, got Put this in that thing. Put that in the water and hand it here. Spanner, you gotta be careful. Hold that head down, you hear? John Ruiz on the inside working the body in that uppercut lands it nice. Evander only responds with one hook back. From the outside, the best right hand of the round, if not the fight, for John Ruiz. And he got, he tried to steal the end of the round, then Evander came back. I thought Evander outworked him for the majority of the round. Very, very, very close round. Sixth round is in the books, and Don Turner wasn't exactly correct. Holyfield made some of the adjustments, not all of them, and he hasn't made them as effectively as we all anticipated he might. Turner said it wouldn't go past six unofficially. What do you see? I have it four to two for Evander, but the, you know, to round the winner close, they're not big runaways. But see, here, he's the effective aggressor this, this entire fight pretty much now, what John was in the first fight. And he's outworking John the whole first two minutes of the last round. All Evander, John had a, a spurt there, but then Evander answered the spurt, so it's not enough to steal the round. Look, John's doing nothing. And the crowd, boo. If the round stays like this without a punch being thrown, you give it to Evander because he's coming forward. sure uh, what's in Ruiz's mind right now. He must, he might just be exhausted. He got hit with a nice right hand just now, and I saw a little funny wobble in his leg. Yes. Maybe delayed reaction, maybe not. And he loads up with that right hand, but that was it, one and done. He just looked up at he the clock. Up. That's not yeah. a good thing. He did look up. I just noticed that as well, Bobby. It's a bad thing when you're looking up at the clock in the seventh round. He's now counting the seconds before this thing is over. Because he, you can see it in his face the punishment he has absorbed to this point. Stop, stop. But you know that Holyfield wants to make a statement here. He doesn't want to go to the judges. He wants to knock Ruiz out. Well, he started to make some of the statement. He hasn't made all of the statement. He's not throwing the combinations again, punches well, and bunches. Every once in a while, though, Holyfield gets pushed back, and a left hook there did it by Ruiz. Ruiz being extremely deliberate here in round seven. Get him out of there. Come on, get him out. Let's go. 
It's as if they're in slow motion here all of a sudden. Break! Break out! Ruiz so banged up. Being pushed back again by Holyfield. The inside Holyfield with some tough shots to the stomach of Ruiz. There's a nice shot on the top of the head by Evander, but John reacts well. No questioning Ruiz's heart. But Ruiz has got stagger. He ate a big left hand. And now he tries to come back with a right of his own. But he is courageous. And he can barely see out of the left eye. I got it, buddy. Uh, sorry, Gabe. Sorry, don't worry about nothing. Come on, Chandler. You gotta move your hands. You're not moving your hands. He's he getting tired. You're not getting tired. He's getting tired now. You gotta move your hands. You're doing. You're walking around doing nothing in there. They're stealing all these rounds, Johnny. Come Charlie, on now. Charlie, this is what he's doing. Left, left, right. He's making boogie up. Left. I know what left you're right. telling, Don. Boogie he up. needs to boogie up boogie and let up. his hands go. You know, everybody can't talk in the corner. You're right, and I'm talking right now. You boogie up and let your hands go, babe. Come on, Vander. Let him go. This guy's gone, babe. Pur purpose right now that you're going to have to do two rounds. You're going to boogie up and boogie up again. He pulls your whip. Seconds up. Holyfield probably landed his best punch of the fight. That left hook right in the forehead, and you see John's leg just right there. It buckled. You couldn't see it on the screen, but it did buckle. And you can see in Ruiz's corner, they just told him, you're letting him steal all these rounds. You're not working. You're letting him steal the rounds. They know he's losing the rounds because he's not working. Same way I thought Ruiz stole the rounds from Holyfield in the first fight. It's been, it's been reversed so far. Well, let's see if Ruiz can turn it up a little bit here in round eight. It's scheduled for 12, the WBA Heavyweight Championship. The first fight was for the vacant title. Now Holyfield has it. Coming in with the head, watch out. But things have slowed to considerably. Louise has to do more. Holyfield is missing pretty badly with the right hand. His timing's off. He's not timing John's duck. John keeps leaning to the side. And Holy keeps going right over his shoulder with that right hand. We have to figure, say Mike Tyson is watching, Lennox Lewis is watching. They have to be wringing their hands looking at Holyfield. I don't think Lennox Lewis and Holyfield oh. three would actually sell, but it might. A left-right combination of the head by Ruiz. Tyson said he wants to fight the winner of this fight, but he's got a fight penciled in May 19th with David Ison. Go. Half the round just about over. Very little action. Bobby, do you think Holyfield looks better or Ruiz looks worse? <laughs> a little of both. Hold it, hold it. Let's go. A little of both. Some of the defensive moves Evander's making are sharper and a little more subtle. John's not as aggressive. He's clearly not as aggressive. He's not out working Holyfield the way he did the first time, I thought. Evander's landed more. He's worked much harder on the inside. It's still not the Evander Holyfield that I think I thought was coming. Holyfield who said he'd knock out Ruiz, and a lot of people thought he was going for an early KO, but it's now round eight. Left uppercut, right, so. oh, and nice. that, uh, that got into the Hold right time. eye of Holyfield as heads Hold came time. together. Might be some loose tape, yeah, on the left glove of Ruiz, and uh, Holyfield winced. He got hit in the eye with the uppercut, and he just kind of maybe stuffed his eyelashes in his eye, was blinking a little bit. Right. May have okay. sort of gotten slashed by the lacing right, of Ruiz's gloves. And a left uppercut followed by a straight left by Ruiz, who's suddenly come alive. Exact same punch that he used to make him wince earlier, that left uppercut. Oh, oh, oh. Ruiz suddenly with some confidence oh, head down, my man. Go for as Holyfield down. pulls Ruiz's head down, a tactic he used a lot of in the first fight. Oh, 
successful. Final seconds of round eight. As Ruiz misses with the right hand before the bell. Take on my two. They're coming to Take, take, what's take? Don't get excited. Sit down, Holy. I got it. I got it. After the bell rings. Lift it up. When he moves to his right, to the bump left when he moves right. A little water. Hear that? You gotta move your feet. So let this guy off the hook. He was ready to quit three rounds ago and let him off the hook. You can't let him off the hook on the other side right now, right this minute. You're gonna go to work. John Ruiz throws that left uppercut on the inside right there, hits Holyfield right in the eye. You watch him, see him, he blinks. He either got the eyelashes or the glove itself in his eye. It looked like a clean shot. No, it was a clean oh, shot, but a great second just, zone. He just poked him in the eye. The <laughs> angle got him, yeah. Let's go, second zone. And there's a moose, house, I should say, a developing. Looks like a moose under the right eye of Holyfield. He can't use moose, he has no hair. Yeah, that's right. Round nine. Bring out, bring out, bring out clean. It's a mouse the size of a moose. Once again, Holyfield looking a little better than the first fight, but again, this is not the Evander Holyfield that the fans of him know and love. Well, I'll tell you, I can't help but understand, can't understand why he's not throwing the jab. I can't help but think if his corner tells him double, triple jab, and then fight a right hand to the body. This way, if John leans and hits something, come up with the hooker uppercut then. Both fighters looking tired now. Nice right hand by Holyfield. Holyfield with a burst of energy. The press row scoring. Bernard Fernandez still has it even. Dan Raphael and Steve Springer have Ruiz ahead by two. I have 77-75 for Evander. I think he's carrying the fight. Most of the time. Last round he gave to Ruiz. But three rounds before that, Evander chased him around the ring and banged him. Got the better of him on the inside. In fighting is hard to see from press row sometimes. I'm lucky and fortunate that I know the game, but it's right here in our face. Right, stop, if it ended stop, stop, now, Ruiz would win by majority decision. Midway through the night, scheduled for 12. Holyfield missing with the left hook. He's just slow to react to Holyfield's telegraphing the punches. Ruiz with the right uppercut, but a countering right hand by Holyfield. Holyfield hit him with a nice left hook on the way back, and now he's sensing something. He rocked and rolled on him, but he missed him. You see him coming, he senses that John's a little staggering there. And his other eye looks cut too. Ruiz may be shaky here. The whole head, the whole head. And he's trying to hold on. Hold oh, that was a beautiful left up cut on the side too. Ru Ruiz really taking a lot here now. His legs are getting a little rubbery too. You can see he's a little tired, but they're not sturdy. Ruiz on very wobbly legs. Bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out. Is really looking ugly. Oh, there's a way he's battered. Blood everywhere. Battered and bruised. Another uppercut by Holyfield. Yep. And he backs Ruiz up. Holyfield continues to score. Oh, big body shot. Double hook. Countering shots by Holyfield. Ruiz absorbing a tremendous amount of punishment here in round nine. Be happy to hear the bell. You want to be ashamed of yourself. Ten minutes ago, we can do it. We can do it, baby. I'm telling you, we can do it, Gabe. Let me get both of them. Relax, relax. Funny. He's, he's laying the jab. Laying the jab. Yo, come on, do something. Do your job. Wake up. Somebody take the water. I'm gonna do the take. Hold me, Marjorie. Johnny, let's see you Drink it, drink it, drink it. Johnny, you want to Vander Holyfield gets the better of it on the inside. There's the nice right hand. And as they go on the inside, Holy hits him with that left hook, busts that other eye open. That punch was one that seemed to make his legs get a little unsteady for a while. There's John Ruiz holding on. But that eye came out of that exchange worse. 
Later on, there's a nice right uppercut, but then right, out. Vander counters with the left hook. Seconds out. And again, he's pressing and he's winning the combinations. He's winning the contact. So far, it's better, but it's still not the Vander Holyfield I thought I'd see. As mentioned earlier, different judges for the first fight, and you wonder if the judges will overcompensate because of what happened in that first fight. Being well aware, the judges here are Chuck Giampa, Patricia Jarman, Manning from Vegas, and Stanley Christodoulou from South Africa. All right, stop, break, break out, break out, clean. Round 10. John Ruiz now almost never coming for it. Waiting on Evander, waiting on Evander. That's not John's fight. I can't help but think that maybe he's hurt or tired. Something's no, wrong. That he's not fighting his fight. Our online scoring is so heavy tonight that we've had sort of a crash in the online area, so uh, we have to hold off on uh, providing it with those scores. Heavy right hand. That was a right hand. That was. Yeah, that was good. Ruiz is claiming it was behind. But it looked pretty good. It was right in the ear. I didn't understand that one. He hit him right in the ear. Look how red his ear is. Bring out, bring out, bring out. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think the first fight was a great fight. I don't think this fight's a great fight. Vander clearly looks better, sharp, is getting hit less. John Reese absorbed a lot more punishment than he did in the first fight. Constantly going backwards. I can't understand why he's going backwards so much. Right, bring, bring out, holding on an awful lot. The first half of the fight wasn't uh, bad. There was some uh, dramatic stuff there, but it has really uh, come to a halt here. And uh, there goes Ruiz. Low blow. As the result of a low blow. Low blow, low blow. One point. He took a point from Evander. One point, low blow. He's got five minutes One point, low blow. to recover, and if he doesn't, he loses. Okay. You know the sad part Please, about that okay. rule? Please try to set up a little breeze. Okay, Reese, Reese, you got to five minutes. And from the looks of things, he's going to make use of those five. Got five minutes. I find it to be an odd rule, though. It could be serious damage, and that won't let you won't even walk in five minutes. Never mind, fight. Slowly getting to his feet. Hey, John, you got to five minutes. Five minutes, you can walk it off. Evander, Evander, get in that corner. Get in that corner. He's got about four minutes left now, or else he uh, point. automatically he loses. Five minutes. It's not only the low blow, look at his face. Look under the left eye, over, over the nose. He's gotten hit hard in the ears. Uh, of course, uh, he claims he had a broken eardrum in the first fight. You, you, you can walk it off. You, got, you, got, you can walk it off. Well, I'll tell you I'm what, uh, Bobby, if he comes back and I'm continues to fight after this yeah, uh, scenario, nobody can yeah. question Ruiz's heart. Well, I clearly think that he's got heart. He's shown his bravery in the past. And this is just Still one of those three more minutes. ugly situations. He's got about three minutes. But I'll tell you right now, all things being equal, if I'm a Van Holyfield, I jump on him. Blood dripping from his nose and his forehead. Holyfield and Ruiz's trainer, Norm Stone, exchanging words. Still got two minutes. I bet you they were not all nice. No. Ruiz now trying to slowly walk it off. Holyfield gazing into the crowd, meantime. How many got? How many time we got left? Two minutes and 40 seconds left. And then Ruiz has to continue fighting. Time. Evander Holyfield right above us, just looking down very quietly, almost uh, introspectively. All right, you ready? You ready? All right, All right Ruiz in. had about two minutes left. Time in. And so he needed about uh, three minutes to recover. Here we go. 
Let's see if Holyfield jumps on him now when he's got Ruiz in some trouble, which he didn't do in the first fight. Well, he's making more of an effort already. Four punch combination, right, nice shot to the body. He's not got his rhythm down. He's not got his timing. Holyfield well, completely right yet. South the border, Let's go. Let's go. And it obviously really didn't hurt uh, Holyfield. Oh, no. Break out, break out, break out. That one, that one had, went upward to hit the love low. <laughs> well, some retaliation by Ruiz. Oh, stop, stop, Just stop, about stop. had it with see Holyfield. Now, see, now here's a round I thought Holyfield won, but because of the low blow, it's an even round. Inside. See, Evander's right, winning the inside. John keeps consistently trying to tie him up. Evander's too strong for him on the inside. Johnny, Johnny, can we get a stay in championship round? This is it, baby. This is it. This is it. You're not going to get any more breaks. Give him some water, boy, over here. John, you're not gonna get any more breaks. Jab and move, jab and move. Give me every inch of fucking energy you got, baby. Sit, Come on, you're gonna be the first Ochino in the world. Come on, baby, you want it? Second Come on, fight. Johnny. You're Second gonna fight, you gotta fight, champ. Don't fight him, Johnny, just box him. Move your hands. Come on. That's what it's all about, Johnny. Go in there and move your hands. Holyfield starts the Lobo action. South of the border, and then a nice left hook to the jaw. I think the shot to the jaw are worse than the low blow. Accidental retaliation, maybe, but that one was low. That one was way low. Norm Stone is leading with John Ruiz as we enter the championship rounds. In fact, there was a difference of opinion there in that round. Gabe Lamarca going, fight him, fight him. And Stone says, no, box him, box him. Jab and move more. Walked into a three punch combination. Oh, we see, up, he's up, just diving up, into Holyfield and holding on now. He's not fighting, and that's detrimental in the scoring. A championship fight that has lapsed into a battle of head clashing elbows and low blows. Down goes Holyfield! Early in round 11, Holyfield down, and he's bloody. They banged head, Steve. I don't know if we got that on close, but they banged the heads and then Louise hit him.
takedown. Right here, they slam into each other. I thought I saw a head. If not, no, it was just a good right hand. Ruiz caught him with a good right hand, and Holy hit the deck. He stayed hurt. There it is. A shot to the temple, Steve. Pure and simple. Scorecard dead even. He took up all the slack that Holyfield worked in the middle round. So here we go. As they touch gloves, this could be the deciding round, the 12th and final round for the title. Does the 38 year old Nevada Holyfield have enough left after getting hit pillar to post in the 11? This should be a very interesting round. Holy with the stronger punches right now, Steve. Holyfield blinking repeatedly. The battered face of John Ruiz right in front of him. Two minutes to go on the 12th. Bring up, 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 stoppage here to win the fight. I'll tell you what, Steve, on my scorecard, whoever wins the last round wins the fight. Holy, I've worked a lot to be in, but I had that last round three points, 10-7. That was huge for John Ruiz. Halfway through the 12th, Ruiz again pouring it on. He's not really leaning too much there, though. Holy's just ducked under. Not real effective. Less than half the round is left. We come up on the final minute of the fight. And his left eye is bleeding too. The left eye of Holyfield looking very bad. Straight right hand of the head by Ruiz. Holyfield blocked that. You can see him. He telegraphed that too. He held his hand out. You saw that one coming. See that jab coming. Bring he, 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 he likes to taste it because he bring ate that one flush. Come on, man. Well, I'd hate to be scoring this fight. Repeat or redemption, I said before. I think we may have repeat, and there is no redemption. Overhand right by Ruiz. Series of punches by Ruiz with 15 seconds to go in the fight. See who finishes the stronger of the two. Two exhausted, bruised fighters. Here we go, final seconds. And that's it. his arms to hold the Puerto Rican flag and he gets hugs and embraces all around from from his corner people Norm Stone, Gabe LaMarca. It was dramatic 
in the first part of the fight and at the end, but kind of sluggish in the middle. You'll recall, they didn't embrace at all after the first fight. They embrace now. They embrace now because I do believe that John Ruiz thinks he's got this in a bag, and I have a funny feeling they wouldn't embrace so readily if he gets robbed again. <laughs> you got a pretty good point. Tremendous job in the corner come on, come on. Don't celebrate yet. by John Ruiz's people. Unbelievable, really, when you think about it, how they kept inspiring him and urging him on, particularly in that 11th round. He said, you know what they call this? The championship rounds, and, and Ruiz rose to the occasion. Incredible coaching in the corner of Ruiz, win or lose. You know what, Steve? I'll put it to you this way. I think John Ruiz is going to get this decision just because of the first fight. But I remember toward the end of my career thinking to myself, punches that weren't supposed to hurt, hurt. You see, Van, it's time to get out. Well, I think Jimmy Lennon Jr. is ready with the decision. So let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Patricia Jarman Manning, scores about 114 to 111. Judge Chuck Jumpa scores about 115 to 111. Judge Stanley Christodoulou sees about 116 to 110. All three in favor of the winner and the new heavyweight champion of the world, El Primer Campeón Latino de Peso Completo, The Quiet Man, John Ruiz. He's done it. Ruiz gets his justice in his sweet redemption. He found he had something to prove. defeat from the first meeting. He sucked it up in the championship round, Steven. That's what one and four, two and three point rounds there. I had him behind by a couple of points. He catapulted in front and closed it out in the 12th round, showing what he's made of. You know what? Grab a title. Look at the emotion being displayed here. Johnny, you're great.